Hi guys, how are you all doing today? So, I hope you guys are doing so good today. Okay, I've, I'm here to review chemistry for the Hexi A2 exam. Dance! Yeah, for the chemistry section for the Hexi A2 exam, yeah. So, over here, you're going to see like some chapters you need and key terms you need to focus on. Yeah. So for my own Hexi exam, I use this edition for yeah, and yeah, the Hexi assessment exam review. This is really awesome. This is like the re recent one. Yeah, but I would like to suggest that this book is really good for the English part, like and the math, not just English, the vocabulary part and the math. Yeah. So, um, I have to open my text back again from this hub for you guys to see how the chemistry part of it looks like the questions yeah. so let's practice together and trust me after that i'm gonna like ask you lots of questions yeah so i'll give you lots of answers too you ready all right let's go so guys as you can see this is the chemistry part which has five practice tests yeah and other different topics that came out in the exams so um, let's go to state of matter so it has five practice um like exams and okay let's start with number one which of the following phrase transition describes the change from ice into steam what do you think hmm, sublimation yeah that's the answer so guys as you can see how it explained um the state of matters to you guys Awesome. Okay. Which of the following states of matter have a definite volume? What do you think? Um, I think it's the liquid and solid. Yeah. They both have definite volume. The gas doesn't have any volume. Remember that? Okay. Let's check the answer. All right. Um, yeah, we're correct. Good job, you guys. Um, you see also how it's explained things to you guys that's awesome right yeah okay let's try the number three which of the following states of matter for a certain substance is generally the densest densest oh my gosh um i think it's the solid yeah because it is so dense yeah okay let's check the answer yeah, you forgot. <laughs> hey guys, you are doing so great. Um, you see how fun it is to practice, okay? So go over to Nurse Help and practice more in there, okay? Um, I wish you good luck. All right, um, let's start over again with the practice questions. So make sure you know about your scientific notations, the metric systems, the temperature scales, atomic structures. The periodic table, mm -hmm. yeah. your chemical equations. Make sure you go through them again. Um, your acid and base. Um, your nuclear chemistry, your biochemistry. Oh, yeah. Nice and idea. your solutions. You no, know, and your concentrations. Um, your stoichiometry. Oh, hope I, I'm not gonna bite my tongue. That one there. That's the spelling there. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't forget about your chemical reactions. Yeah, remember your oxidation and reduction. Oh gosh, so much things to study, right? Don't worry, you're gonna make it. Okay, now study tips from me and okay, question time. Okay, this is my favorite part. Okay, do you remember the normal human body temperature? That is something. Okay, what about the boiling point of water? Water. <gasps> Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, we know what I'm talking about. Zero degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's right. Good job. And uh, what about the number of amino acid that is essential for human life? Yeah, no more. What? Did I hear you say to me? Yeah, you're right. How Good about job. calculating the proton number of an element? Example, let me say calcium. The proton number. Yeah, it's the atomic number. That is how to calculate. It's the same thing. And what I mean is that the number of proton is the same thing as the atomic number. Yeah. So the number of proton. Oh, okay, let me say again. In other words, proton number of an element is the same thing as its atomic number. Yeah. What about how to calculate the neutron number? You know that one? 
Okay, you? let me help you out. Um, how to calculate the neutrons number is the mass number minus the atomic number. Yeah. Get that Remember now. when I asked you about the boiling point of water? That was supposed to be like zero, right? I said zero before, zero degrees Celsius, but it's different from the. So what I mean is that it's different from when it is in Fahrenheit. Yeah. So the boiling point of water in Fahrenheit is two one two. Yeah. Um. Remember the definition of alloys. Yeah. They are the mixture of two or more metals, right? Yeah. Yeah. Remember radiations, remember the meaning, right? Also go through them, okay? Remember the three types of radiations, the alpha, the beta, and the gamma. Which one that can be stopped by just a piece of paper that is so weak? The alpha, yeah? Get it right, good job! <laughs> Remember the amino acids, which that's proteins are made up of amino acids, yeah. Wait, am I even asking a question? Am I giving guys an answer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, I just want you guys to pass this exam, okay? No worry, you're gonna do great, okay? Just one step. Um, time. remember starch and the different types of starch. Remember that glycogen is also a part of a starch, and remember the type that glycogen is animal starch. Back to the right. atomic number. Can you remember how to find the atomic number? I also know the definition of the atomic number. Yeah, the number of protons in a nucleus of what? And remember that um, oxygen is a part of a compound, right? And you also know, remember the oxidation number of oxygen. Minus two. Yeah. And remember to go through your pH, you know, the one that is acidic and basic and neutral, the numbers and stuff. And yeah, more. I don't know the pH of stuff. Yeah, something like that. And uh, don't forget to know your oxidation states. Yeah, of an element so they can give you something and something like oh yeah, oxidations and reductions. Remember to practice your chemical formulas. Don't worry, you're gonna do good. Okay, you just have um 25 questions in the exams. Yeah, that's 25 questions in the exams. So yeah, great. just go to next heaven. Maybe buy their test pack. Yeah. It's awesome because it's half off, fifty percent off. If you use fifty for you as a code and practice more there and practice and go through your basics, your chemistry basics. Don't worry, you need to take it, okay? I'm wishing you good luck on your exams. So I'm wishing you good luck on your exams, okay? Don't worry, you're gonna do great, okay? Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching my videos and, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? And leave me your comments, okay? And give me a thumb up if you like it or if you don't like it. But I know you like it.